Okay, so my name's Tate Berenbaum, and I'm here to present a little bit about Virto, um, which is a decentralized profit sharing token exchange for our weave. So the why? Um, well, I'm sure as you've noticed, there have been quite a few uh, profit sharing tokens and profit sharing communities that have been released into the wild um, on top of our weave. But the only problem is that before Virto, there was no way to trade these, these tokens. Um, <laughs> and so we thought that was kind of important. So we wanted to, to work on building a system to do that. Um, so the what? Um, so Virto is a way to, to trade our, our Weave profit sharing tokens in a completely decentralized uh, manner. Um, and the network is powered by trading posts as Sam was kind of talking about earlier. Um, and so these, you know, these work on top of the block weave. So they receive the transactions and then they can, um, they, they each have their own order book and API. So we wrote the code in node. And so basically the, the trading posts receive the orders, uh, process everything and handle all the orders. And we can hold trading posts accountable, um, thanks to the Virto token in the DAO. And so each trading post have to, has to have a stake. And with that stake, that allows the DAO to hold them accountable. So if a trading post were to, you know, do something that were, you know, malicious, then, you know, the DAO could hold them accountable for that action and slash their stake. So we've made quite a few advancements recently that we're really excited about. Um, as you might have been able to tell, the theme of this presentation is dark, which is a little bit different than, than previous presentations. Um, <laughs> and I'm excited to say that um, one of our team members, Martin, has been slaving away uh, for like the past week and a half on, on getting a dark mode out. So we're super excited. Um, you'll be able to see what that looks like in a second. Um, another thing that we're really excited about are token watch list. So on your dashboard, you'll be able to, to see the tokens um, that, that you have. You can, you can add a little widget onto your dashboard that lets you watch the price of the token. Um, another thing that we're, we're working on expanding Virto functionality outside of the application itself. So one way that we're doing that uh, um, is supporting embeddable price graphs which and volume graphs for that matter which allow you to um, add a graph for for any profit sharing token um, on any website now one thing that we're super happy to to announce is the the library which essentially allows any developer in node to to integrate the functionality of virto uh, right into their own application so we've actually migrated the entire front end for Virto, the application, to this library. So whenever we release an update to the library, you know, the, the front end updates. Um, and you can, you can, you know, trade Virto, you can, you can use the functionality of Virto into your own application. So another thing that is almost ready are custom tokens. So one thing that we really wanted to, to expand in terms of functionality with Virto is supporting custom tokens. Um, recently, there, there have been quite a few interesting use cases for this. The first one that I can think of would be, you know, if somebody's building like this, this application that allows people to listen to music and it embeds profit sharing tokens. Um, well, in that case, you know, if each album were its own profit sharing token, you wouldn't want to have to go through like a token listing process to trade that, that album um, on, on Virto. So by supporting custom tokens, any token that, that you build by, by default is supported by the infrastructure. And then the last thing that we've really been hard at work on, um, especially John from the team, is caching. So if, if you've used the front end before, you've, you might have noticed that, that Virto can be a bit slow at times, depending on the page that you visit. Um, and that's because in order to pull the information necessary, it has to loop through every transaction that occurred for every token. Um, that is, you know, a profit sharing token. So we're, we're trying to speed this up. John's working on a library called Cash Weave. It's still in, still in progress, but you can go to, to John's GitHub um, and, and see that. And we're, we'd be more than happy to share that link if you'd like to contribute. Um, okay, so, so Virto itself. Here is dark mode. <laughs> we, we didn't have a demo, but this is 
what the new trade page looks like. So it's super easy to use. You can select whether you want to buy or you want to sell. You can select the trading post that you want to use, though we will automatically recommend you one if you know if you if you don't feel like doing some research and, and searching for that information. Um, you can type the amount that you want to send. You can select the token that you want to um, send or receive, depending on whether you're buying or you're selling. Um, and you can also set the rate for selling. And then after that, you just click buy or sell and then submit. And then that's that initiates the trade. And then after that, you'll be redirected to your dashboard where you can see that new trade as pending. Um, and by the way, you can see all of this on the site right now. If you go to Verto.exchange, you can you can play with this functionality um, as long as you're not in the US <laughs> because we had to put up a geofence. Um, so we're also working on some, some opportunities that, that we would love to get help on. So one major thing is an explainer video for Virto. Um, that's, that's on Community XYZ. We'd love to, to see an explainer video released because there are quite a few um, concepts that are, that are new to the community and, and explaining these concepts has proven to be a bit of a challenge at times. Um, Another thing that we'd really love to, to support is Weave ID. I, I think that, that Weave ID would allow people to, um, to log into the site much easier. It would, it would add another level of, of trust so that people don't have to drop their, or it would remove a letter, level of trust. Actually, I forgot the way to word that correctly, but basically you wouldn't have to, to drag and drop your key file. Um, into our site and trust that we're going to do what we're supposed to with it. Like we're we're not going to do anything with it, but you know, it just adds another level of um, security. So another thing is the to a dedicated token page. So with custom tokens, especially, it would be really cool if if we could build something that allows people to get information on a token, like you know, coin market cap or something. Um, and there the I think Cedric is working on some community XYZ uh, functionality that allow you to allows you to get information about tokens, and and we'd love to be able to integrate with this and display this on Verto, so that you can also use Verto as a sort of token discovery platform and discover all these different profit sharing communities. Um, speaking of profit sharing communities, we'd love to build some some profit sharing community detection into Verto, so. As I'm sure you're aware, there, there's profit sharing tokens and then there's profit sharing communities. And there, the, the difference between the two is that, you know, a token is just a token. It doesn't have a DAO. And then the community has this DAO built in and that's running on community XYZ. And we love to be able to maximize the, the potential of, um, of this community by, by working on adding detection so that we can get, get necessary information displayed on Virto. And then one of the most important things, though it's not exactly an opportunity that we'd love to see is, is feedback. Um, feedback has been incredibly helpful for us. Um, we've been lucky and we've gotten a lot of feedback so far, uh, but just continuing to get feedback about everything that we're doing, you know, requested features, um, reporting an issue if you have one, um, super, super helpful for us. And we'd love to, we'd love to talk to you about that. So, this is no longer Virto. Another thing that, that a few members of the team have been working on is what we call a profit sharing distributor. And basically what the, the use case for this is, you know, in the US, we're trying to check the box of, okay, you're sufficiently decentralized. But at the same time, you know, these profit sharing communities are also trying to um, seed their markets for, for the exchange. And so by building a system that allows people to distribute a set number of tokens over time automatically, um, we feel that this would be a really great way to, to be able to seed the market. So right now, this is, this is a, a, an example of, of what something would, would look like that distributes. Um, we, we wrote some tests in Dino. Um, and we did get a linear uh, curve working, but we're, we're really, you know, <laughs> we're we're quite busy with Verto, and we'd love some help on on getting this across the finish line. Um, we'll get the linear, you know, we got the linear side of it, but this exponential curve, I think, would add a lot of um, potential to to Verto and and 
all the other profit sharing communities for that matter. And I should mention that, that this mechanism works by um, allowing people to clone a repository um, or sorry, fork the repository on GitHub and it the, this automatic process is run through a GitHub action. So, you know, there's no infrastructure that you need to download on your computer to use this. You just have to have a GitHub account. Um, and it's pretty easy to customize too. You can input all of the, like the total token supply, the amount of time that you want to distribute over and, um, you know, also the, what we're calling the token allocation function, which basically allows people to say, okay, I want to reward this many users um, that fit this criteria, um, these tokens over time. So, you know, you can build your own function into the system and it's meant for that so that you can select exactly who you want to distribute to. Um, so yeah, that's, that's, that's it for me. Um, feel free to get in touch if you, if you'd like to talk or chat about profit sharing, uh, communities, distributors, Virto, any of those. Um, you can reach out to me on discord as well, or, or John, um, we, we'd both love to talk to you about that. So yeah, that is my presentation. <laughs>